Good morning, YouTube. Robert J. Morris here. And, uh, yeah, if you're uh, a U.S. Army vet or a veteran of any sort, not to be confused with veterinarian, this may actually uh, interest you. U.S. Senate has passed a bill. This came out on November 19th. Now, this is a... This is an anti-vaccination uh, website, not saying good or bad, just saying it's probably biased, but nonetheless, we do have an article here that says U.S. Senate passes bill for approving mandatory vaccinations for veterans. Just this year alone, uh, in the wake of Bill SB 277, that would be uh, West Virginia, yeah. So, what we got here is basically a full frontal assault on people they're they they get the kids first then they get the adults that they can declare are incapable of taking care of themselves like i was saying before in earlier podcasts most of these military folk when they come back they have a kill switch installed and it's some form of medical means of determining whether or not they are capable of making a decision themselves now this is happening, guys, and I'll leave links for you guys, especially uh, with this this particular article. It will uh, shed some light. They do touch on a few interesting topics, though, uh, just to get your gears turning. Um, they're talking about biological warfare and how it can take a number of forms. The question, how can you get a bacteriological or toxic agent on board without the target being alerted? been asked and answered in addition to using humans and animals as vectors biological warfare agents can be airborne waterborne foodborne or put into pharmaceuticals um yeah i mean it's a little bit rhetorical at this particular point we already know this but uh we can go down further here section 101 of senate bill 1203 named the 21st century veterans benefits delivery act states that the department of veterans affairs will be tasked with the mandate to Ensure that veterans receiving medical services under Chapter 17 of Title 38 United States Code receive each immunization on the recommended adult immunization schedule at the time such immunization is indicated on that schedule. So now they are no longer having the option of choice. I'm not going to read to you the spin. I'll leave the article here for you to, to read yourself. I'm just merely reporting it. This was six days ago, so if somebody else has covered this, I apologize. I'm not trying to step on any toes, but it just got brought to my attention. I'd like to thank uh, Adam R uh, R Riggleman uh, on Facebook for, uh, for posting this article. I've been looking into the SB 277 situation, and that in itself is just another rabbit hole. There was a whole, there's a whole campaign uh, to petition the legislation and the whole thing was a farce in, in my in my eyes it was a complete total farce um, I think it was destined to fail from the very beginning and a lot of people got scammed so if any future petitions decide to uh, be made then the public is going to react violently and say hell no and yeah I think that was manufactured uh, it was manufactured opposition and that's my take on it for now. I will be doing uh, an update on this later uh, to shed some more light on the SB 277 issue. But no joke, guys. Uh, this is just two situations, and there are hundreds more on a worldwide level right now. And I'm just scratching the surface of it at this particular point. Stand by for more updates on this and other news as I find it. It's been a busy week, and I will uh, get some stuff out to you. All right, guys, I don't want to keep you here too long. Have a great day. Uh, don't freeze your balls off like I am up here in the cold white north. And peace. Take these walls and rip them, rip them down.